This video explains how to order the rows and columns of a heat map using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a matrix object, as you can see in lines two to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new matrix object called myMet is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our matrix contains five rows and five columns. And each of the elements of this matrix contains a random numeric value. Now, if we want to draw a heat map based on this matrix, we can apply the heat map function, as you can see in line eight of the code. So after running this line of code, a new heat map is appearing at the bottom right. And as you can see, this heat map is not ordered because the column and row values are not sorted alphabetically. And one reason for that is that the heat map is also showing dendrograms at the left side and on the top of our heat map. So in order to avoid such an ordering, we may simply remove those dendrograms. And we can do that, as you can see in lines 10 to 12 of the code, using the row v and call v arguments. And I'm setting these arguments to be equal to an a. So after running lines 10 to 12 of the code, our heat map is drawn without dendrograms. And as you can see, the columns and the rows are ordered alphabetically. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.